everybody and happy wax on Wednesdays. I haven't done a reveal scrape back and reveal video in quite some time so I thought that would be a fun project for today and this is just an 8x8 eight eight inch cradle board. I put a couple of uh, coats of encaustic gesso and it's encaustic gesso that I get from R&F and it just helps give it a little bit of a tooth, a little bit of an absorbency for the encaustic paint. And I'll be using my Iwatani torch and also some clay scrapers. And I have different sizes here for uh, different angles and a, a little tiny one is good for cleanup for small areas. So I have just a variety of clay scraping tools here for the scrape back and reveal. So first off, I'm just gonna be adding a couple layers of color with encaustic paint, just very abstractly on the board, fusing between each layer. And I've just picked a few of my favorite colors, pick whatever colors that, uh, that you like for that day and just go with it. Okay, so I have a couple of layers of white added over all of the layers of color, and it takes some time to build up those color layers because you have to let it rest in between each layer and sort of let it cool down so you don't end up with a, mu a bit of mush or mud in the colors and you're able to keep your color layer separate. So each time I fuse and heat up 
that board, I'm letting it sort of set aside and rest, and that's when it's good to kind of work on a few at a, at a time, and that way you can set one aside, let it rest while you're working on another one, and let, um, let everything sort of cool down and take a break. So now I'm going in with some scrapers and a stylus tool. This is, again, just a stylus, clay stylus, and if you don't have a stylus, you could always use a needle or a nail. Will work just fine for this. And I'm going to go ahead and draw what my pattern that I want to uh, to have, and then go ahead and scrape back and and reveal those layers of color.
okay, so this is pretty whimsical. It was pretty, it was fun to sort of play around with and, and see what would happen. If I were going to go bigger on this, I would definitely, uh, or do it again, I would definitely build up more layers of color and, and have more opportunity to uh, to scrape back deeper and, uh, and reveal some more color. So I would definitely uh, take time to build up some more layers, maybe possibly even, you know, 10, 12 more layers additionally uh, to have just more opportunity to scrape back and uh, and see and reveal and see what happens but this is this was pretty fun to to play around with and scraping back in also can help add some texture here like uh, as on the base it can help add texture it can reveal colors and layers underneath whether you're working completely abstract that would be beautiful and just digging at different depths or scraping back to different depths to reveal certain layers of color or if you're doing a scenic or a landscape that's a little more realistic, all that opportunity uh, there is to just really build up those colors and reveal uh, different layers. So I hope you really enjoyed this week's Wax on Wednesdays and we'll see you next week. Happy creating. Mm -hmm.